it's Janine from Angels Tubes, and, and today on What the Deck, we have Hearts and Hands Tarot by Liz Blackbird. It's a really, it's a really cool deck. It is. It's interesting. So this one is a tarot deck. So it should have 78 cards. It's pretty. Okay, and before I completely turn it over, remember that if you like my videos, please hit like. If you like my videos, please hit subscribe. And remember, as always, no stinking thinking or you're out of here. I want to keep everything in the positive. Okay, so let's turn it over. Okay. The heart. And Hands Tarot deck represents a personal journey and a true labor of love created over a course of several phases of life by artist and illustrator Liz Blackbird. The deck's eclectic imagery is rooted in traditional figures and symbolism of the classic Rider Waite Smith Tarot deck and is stylistically unified by intricate line drawing technique. Flowers and figures spill from the images frames. The exuberance of illustrations reflect the power of the card and the artist's joy in creating them. Like a mandala or illuminated manuscript, the detailed artwork invites extended contemplation and reveals more the longer and reveals more the longer you look. Okay, so it is a 78 card deck with a 72 page guidebook from your schemes. Okay. So, or is there anything on the inside? No. Okay. Let's see. Boom. All right, so it's a standard card um, deck box. So let's go over the book and see what we have here. The Hearts and Hands Tarot. So if you like this kind of artwork, you're really going to like this deck. Okay. And so we have the introduction. Okay, so because the tarots are in an order as it is, you're not really going to get a, um, you know, the like a table of contents. Uh, has introduction, and then we're going to go right in. Uh, I want to see if they offer any um, okay, here we go. They just put it in different space. I'm glad I didn't just ignore it. Um, I really do like when they offer a spread. So open hand tarot spread. This is going to be very, it looks very um, personalized to this deck. So I'm glad that I looked in the back because I do like when they do that. Okay, so with the description, so let's just pick, let's go. Okay, one thing I don't like is I don't like that it doesn't have like the picture with it, but some people don't care. I think it might be a me thing. So we start with the fool. There's no picture of the fool here and you're gonna go down half a page. It's gonna give you a reversal. Again, boom, and a reversal. Boom, reversal. So you're going to get like half half of a, a thing. Um, if you know tarot, I have to say, though, if you know tarot, then it's kind of like standard, you know? Here they're just explaining it, what it looks like, and then their interpretation of what it means to them. So... I'm okay with, I'm actually okay with it because tarot is a different animal than oracle. An oracle, you, you know, you might want to get more of a feel of what the author is kind of like conveying because they're, um, they're personalized, you know, they're different. And they stated pretty clearly that this is going to be, um, off the right of weight. Here's the, the back of it. 
Oh, is that an eye? Ooh, ooh, it's a bunch of eyes. There's another one. Looking at you. Ooh, all in the middle of them, though. <laughs> Looking at you. Okay. How did I put it? All right. Let's take a look and flip it on over. Okay. As always, remember that you can um, pause so that if I'm going too fast, you will be able to um, pause, you know, take a look at it a little bit more in depth okay couple things the cardstock it has more of a um i would say like a matte finish um and like regular just cardstock then it's not glossy and it's not that slick matte it's just like cardstock so some people like that some people don't the cards do not stick to each other i didn't have to pull anything apart so we have that here's about how thick we're going with it this is about how big it is in your hands for a tarot it's a little on the bigger side it's more like the size of a oracle so again that goes completely with preference okay and well let's flip it and just take a look at what it looks like like this yeah, that looks kind of cool. I do like it. Okay. Another observation um, is that these are not in Roman numeral. So if you don't know your Roman numerals, um, no problemo with these cards. They are in the normal um, numeric system that we know. Okay, so here we go. The Fool. Major Arcana is done. We start off with the cups. coffee <laughs> I like it okay so the cups are done we're now entering entering into pentacles coins whatever you want to call them discs Pentacles, coins, discs, and we're going into swords.
Okay, we're leaving the swords and we're going into wands. Wands. has a bit of a modern ish take on it because not all of them do and they're mixed into like some modern visuals and some not modern visuals so if you like that that's pretty cool too okay so this is the hearts and hands tarot deck let me know if you like it in the comments below. And uh, I guess I'll just be seeing you later.